What's up guys, Tony here with iTech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at a product for your Tesla Model 3. Now, if you look at the front underneath the frunk hood, uh, there's a little inlet, and basically what that does is it takes in fresh air from outside, brings it into your car when you have your air conditioning on, and basically what this product does is it covers uh, more of the vent than what is already here. So if you live in an area where there's like a lot of debris, uh, branches, leaves and stuff, you don't wanna have those leaves get into your vent here. So this product uh, basically restricts bigger things from entering into your, your air inlet, which is not a good thing. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to install it, uh, basically what it does, and you can decide if you need this for yourself or not. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so first what we need to do is we need to go ahead and remove the plastic cover that is covering the inlet first. And it's held on by uh, just some plastic clips. So basically, if you just, just lift up on that cover there on the side, and come over to the other side, just lift up a little bit. I know it's a little scary, but it pops right off. And you just take that cover and move it off to the side. So as you can see now, it uh, gives us access to our inlet here. Uh, and the inlet itself is quite big. It's big enough to where I can stick my hand down inside of it. So here's the product here. As you can see, uh, it's specifically cut to fit directly into your inlet right here. And it fits just perfectly. And it has the little uh, tape all around it so it can uh, stick nice and uh, solid in there without it moving. As you can see, it has a little holes cut out for the air uh, to go into your inlet, but it restricts bigger things from falling inside as if it was falling into the inlet here. Leaves, uh, you know, bigger bugs, stuff like that. It keeps that from falling in here, but it doesn't restrict the airflow because there are so many holes here. So let me give you a look so you can see what it looks like on the inside here. So as you can see, there is the inlet and it, everything that looks like there's a battery under there. So as you can see, the inlet is big enough for me to stick my hand into, but that's just the, the main inlet. The other cover restricts, you know, certain things from falling in, but then when you put in your grate, it definitely restricts from uh, other things even falling in, like I said, bugs, leaves. So this would be something nice to have if you live in an area like that. So once you have the cover taken off and you have your uh, cover here, all you need to do is basically just get a little end here. So you peel off the little protective tape here and then go ahead and place it directly into your inlet. Make sure it's lined up pretty good. And then just kind of press all along the edges here to make sure that this double-sided tape is sticking. And that's pretty much it for the installation. So let's see if it restricts any of the air. So as you can hear, I have the air conditioning uh, set to the highest it'll go. It's not recirculating, so it is pulling air from the outside. And I can tell you, it is definitely, it has a lot of suction. Here's a little bag that uh, this came in. If I just, <laughs> it sucks right to there. So you definitely don't have to worry about any, you don't have to worry about um, restriction and airflow because as you can see, it creates a ton of suction. These little holes are definitely uh, big enough to allow plenty of air to come in for your air conditioning. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on and we'll let you see how it looks all put together. Okay, so to put this back on, you just kind of line up the little clips here with the holes, everything's lined up, and just kind of push, push down, make sure all the clips clip. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Very simple, easy installation. As you can see, that's what it looks like installed. You can see all the little holes. And as you saw, it's very easy to, you know, clean up if you need to. 
but this will keep any leaves or anything else from falling and getting into your air inlet and causing more problems. So that's pretty much it for the Bogue RV Air Inlet Protector. As you can see, like I said, um, if you guys live in an area where a lot of stuff falls, like debris from trees, uh, moss, leaves, anything like that, this is going to keep that from falling into your air intake and causing uh, some problems. So I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to check it out yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.